Invader Life Science was created in 2013. Uh, I have uh, the idea of producing a 3D bioprinting. For the last 40 years or so, anyone that growing cells in the laboratory to do research, they grow the cells on a plastic surface as a monolayer of cells. The idea of producing a 3D model has already been very well established in science that they are much better, much more reliable. However, there's no way to mass produce those models at no effective way or even being reproducible. And that's what this machine does, it produces a high number of individual 3D models, very low cost and very fast. Our first patent was filed in 2015, and that was a, a process patent around our first biological application. And that patent has just been granted in Australia and the US and Europe uh, this year. On the bioprinter, we have a number of patents there. Part of the, the product is a consumable, so that is a really critical part of our product as it the primary revenue drivers because it's an ongoing consumable product that our customers use. And in order to protect that cartridge, that consumable, we file design protection for the, for the cartridge design. So that protects the, the look and the shape and the um, kind of detail inside the cartridge. Um, and so that was the strategy we, we took for our consumable to, to protect it. The process for a design protection seemed a lot more straightforward than the patent um, applications as it, there's a less detail required, um, it, but you're only protecting, I guess, the look and shape of your product rather than the actual um, technology, the underlying technology. So it's a, a little bit different, but for that particular piece of the product, it was, I think, the most appropriate protection that we could get for it. We decide to cover the biggest market for all the applications we made. And that means that whatever we do here, we have to ensure that it's been done overseas. And the plan for this business is to grow overseas. You have to think about overall in terms of the whole business. What is that strategy? Just one example, if you, today you go and type rostrum on the internet, but the first thing that appears now is that rostrum is our printer. It's a very rare used name, and if you make that investment in the marketing of that name, you want to protect that name to avoid anyone start to copy it. And, and that logo has a very distinct look, means that people can associate, can easily recognize the brand. So we, we have a long standing relationship with design and industry who have helped us, I guess, take Rastrum from a prototype to uh, a product. But that has been a really successful relationship. Um, and I think they were instrumental in really bringing about the look and feel of the machine. Having a strong brand is crucial to the success of a product. So we wanted to build something that was a bit more, I guess, flamboyant and a bit more eye-catching and interesting for researchers in a lab. And I think the design is really critical to kind of, I guess, capturing people's imagination. We are developing a very new and innovative technology. And that's really what it's about, is protecting all of the development work and protect the innovation so that we can commercialize and become a successful and sustainable business based in Australia.